Здравствуйте, меня зовут Андрей Жих, и сегодня мы будем учиться, как мешать колоды. Oh, in English? Sorry. Hi, guys. My name is Andre Jik, and uh, today we're going to be learning the B4. And to give you guys a little bit of history behind it, bam, bam, boom, boom is what I like to call it. Uh, it was actually on a Saturday night that I logged on to Theory 11, and I saw Jonathan Bain post a contest about, you know, creating your own flourish. And in less than three hours, we had to create a flourish, we had to perfect it, edit it, and upload it. In less than three hours, I said to myself, there's no way that can be done. And in less than 15 minutes, I was up and filming this thing. So the moral of the story is, you never know when creativity can hit you and can strike you. And now that you guys know a little bit of history behind it, let's get into the move. B4 sequence, there are a few moves I'd like you guys to know in order for you to be able to put this cut together. And here they are. The first of which is the index pushover. Now it looks like a very simple move, and it is. And essentially this is what's happening. I'm holding the deck on its short sides with my middle and ring finger and my thumb. I'm placing my index finger a third of the way up on the center and pushing this card over like so. Again, here it is. Now, it looks like a very simple move to do, and it is. However, if it's your first time, of course, it's going to take some practice. Don't neglect, don't neglect it. It's one of those small moves that it's going to take a little bit of time to get smooth. Now, the second of which is the Z-grip, and it looks a little bit something like this. It was originally derived from Chris Kenner's Sybil cut. And essentially what's going on is... I'm holding the deck in mechanics grip, raising an upper third, and then pushing with my thumb against my index finger to raise another third. And essentially, as you can see, cleverly named the Z grip because it looks like a Z, like so. Now there's a lot going on, so here are the angles for the actual grip. a little bit more in-depth of the whole B4 sequence. Ultimately, we're going to get into the climax of the sequence into the T section. And here's how it's going to look. First of all, we're going to start off by breaking off into the Z grip. Like so. This is the first section. We're going to introduce a flare card. Remember, the flare card is creating a small motion in one place in return for a larger reaction. So like so. Z grip, I'm gonna push over with our index finger. We're gonna rotate it around and grip it as a Sybil packet. 
Essentially, it's just one card, so it's a lot easier. We're going to grip this card, this flare card, with our middle and pinky. Our ring finger goes underneath, and what that allows us to do is flare the card, and this is a flare, like so. So the first sequence is going to look like this. Break off, pivot around, grip, flare once. Now we're getting in, now we're going to get into the second flare, introduce the second flare card. And what you're going to do is utilize the index finger pushover, and at the same time we're going to extend and flare out. So it's going to look like that, creating a little C display. So from the beginning, this is what essentially it should look like. Here, flare once, flare twice. Now let's get into the second portion, the second phase of the B4 sequence. Now we got the C formation down, let's get into the next step of the sequence. So here we are, we're in this position. What we're going to want to do is bring all of the flare cards in. So bring this one in, and then bring this one back in. We're here. This looks all very compact, and we're going to compress it even further by having our second flare card be pushed down with our thumb underneath this card right here, our first flare card. So pushed down underneath like so. See that? We're going to press with our index finger down. Apply pressure, allowing us to balance this card like so. See that? And we're going to extend both of these flare cards out. Obviously, the larger you extend, the larger the display is going to be. So now we're in this position. We're going to introduce a third flare card right here. We're just going to push it outward and extend these cards, creating this T formation. Now, holding this cut is a little bit difficult at first, but with practice, you'll be able to get more consistent with it. got into the actual T formation and the T sequence, now we're going to get into how you actually close this cut. So let's get into it. So here we are. We're in the T formation. We're going to start it off by closing it with our thumb pad. Our thumb flare card is collapsed. This is the first one to go. Essentially, I just dropped my thumb. Now we're going to get this center packet, the second one. Just let go with this thumb. Collapse, right? Like so. Now we're going to do a hand flare, a hand motion. And it just creates a little bit of complexity in what we're doing. And it's just all a tribute to style. It's all up to you. But that's, that is how I choose to do it. So here we are. Now we're going to collapse this uh, flare card, which is essentially our uh, first flare card. We're going to collapse. And then grip with our thumb, push down, and the last packet, turn your wrist over, place the thumb on the face of the card, and roll over like so. Let's do it one more time. So here we are, you're in the T, again the thumb flare card collapses, followed by the second pack, collapse followed by the flare, hand flare, close this, close this flare card, and go here, wrist turnover, place your thumb on the base, and roll the packet over. In speed, it should look something like this. Pause for a few seconds, and close. Again. Pause. Close, 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 rotate the flare. Very easy. 
but it takes time to practice and master. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'd like to give special thanks to Chris Kenner Sybil. Obviously a great concept. Uh, people have made millions of variations and this one is I think a little bit different. And it's uh, something that needs to be practiced, something that needs to be made to look natural and uh, fluidity is very important in this cut. So practice it and perform it well. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, take care. So to give you guys a brief history about B4, bam bam boom boom, it was actually on a Saturday night that I logged on to <laughs> B4, bam bam boom boom, that's what I like to call it. <laughs> if it's your first time holding a deck of cards, then it may take some practice. Apparently. <laughs> it's a quarter. I got the billion. <laughs> Get dancers. How, how's that? <laughs>